Hello and welcome. In this screencast, I will show you how to integrate Double Click for Publishers ads into WordPress. I will start by showing you how to generate ad units and combine these into positions. After that, I will generate ad tags to implement in your site using specific WordPress plugins. And you will see how to set up these plugins so you can display targeted ads. Let's start by firing up DFP. If you haven't done so already, sign up first for an account. Scroll down, click on Learn More, and on the next page, select Get Started. Use a Google AdSense account to sign up and proceed to the dashboard afterwards. This is where you start, and it also provides you a quick view of running campaigns like the one you see. To be able to display ads, you set up a number of ad units, which can later be grouped into ad placements. To make an ad unit, you select Inventory in the navigation bar. As you can see, I made a whole bunch of ad units. They are used for very precise targeting. Now let's make a new ad unit by clicking New Ad Unit. We will be making a web ad unit. Fill in a name you find best suiting. For inspiration, rewind to my ad unit list. Select a size for your ad unit and decide for the target window. The placements list is where you can group your ad unit with other units, but for now, we'll skip this. I have AdSense enabled by default but you can always override these settings per unit. After you hit save, you will find the new unit in your list. By clicking on its name, you can always edit it afterwards. As you can see, it's quite easy to override the AdSense settings. Up next, making a placement. A placement is used for grouping ad units and give advertisers or yourself a set of targeted ad units. As you can see, I made several kinds of placements. These can be run-of-site ads or topical placements, like the one you see for air traffic controller jobs. In the title, I put the included ad unit formats. Let's make a new placement by clicking New Placement. Give it a descriptive name, like I did with my placements, and use the Description field for more details. In the Assigned Inventory block, you select which ad units need to be included. You can filter by name or size if you'd like. Click Include to move an ad unit to the right, which means it will be placed in the placement. If you check the Google AdWords box, you can fill in details about your placement and have it listed for AdWords advertisers. Mo Most important is the description field, as this will be seen by AdWords advertisers. Use this to let them know what they are targeting, like a targeted section of your website, or a run-of-site sidebar banner with a specific size. After hitting Save, you will find your placement in your list, with its included sizes, description, and number of ad units. As with ad units, editing is easy and allows you great flexibility. To give you an example of a filled-in placement with precise topical targeting, let's have a look at my ear hostess jobs placement. This one includes 300 by 600 and 468 by 60 banners and has 15 ad units. When you look at the name, you see more details about where the ad units are placed. I added some more information about the ads, 
but the most important field is the description. Here, I filled in exactly which ad units are available on which location and how many there are. You can easily add or remove ad units in the placement by clicking Edit in the Assigned Inventory section. By hovering your mouse over the ad units, you can see the name and size. The Remove button is visible if you scroll to the right, by the way. And after you're done, hit the Save button again. In this case, I discard the changes, since that was just for demonstration purposes. Now let's see how this comes together in WordPress, which is in my case, hathrowcareers.co.uk. For it to work, you'll need two plugins, Code Insert Manager and Custom Fields Shortcode. After installing, you will find a new item called Code Insert in the navigation on the left. Click on it and you will see the list of inserts, after you made some of course. As you can see, these are targeted by name as well. I named one Air Hostess series. Since the Air Hostess placement I showed before consists of multiple articles in a series. In the settings, you'll select the pages where this code is shown, in the actual code. I will show you how to get this code. Switch back to Google DFP and hit the Inventory tab. Click on Generate Tags on the left. On the Select Add Units field, use the filter to find the add units you need. If you named your add units smart enough, you can easily filter them out. Select the add units by clicking Include. After you're done, click Generate Tags below. Have a look at the code and you'll see your add units names again, with some settings included. You will find the head and body code here. We'll come back to this in a moment, just leave it open. Now switch back to your WordPress dashboard. For the sidebar ads, you will need to have an option in your template to make custom sidebars. In my case, these are located under Appearance and then Custom Sidebar. As you can see, I made one called Air Hostess Series. Uniform naming is important for your targeting to work, to not lose track. You can find your custom sidebars in the widgets area of WordPress. Here, you can fill them like a normal widget. Okay, now let's put in the actual code for the sidebar, not the test code I made. In Google DFP, I select all the ad units which show up after filtering for host. You can check the units by hovering over them. Now hit Generate Tags again. As you scroll to the code, you can see the ad unit's names and sizes are included. This is necessary to keep track, since you will be picking code from this list. In this case, I select the code on the bottom, with sidebar in the title, of the body field, and copy it. Most themes will have an ad widget, and this is where you will put the code. After you're done, click on Save. The sidebar is done, and now let's work on the in-content ads. I will also show you how to have your custom sidebar appear on the targeted pages. Let's first open the desired page. Since I am working on the Air Hostess targeting, I will click the Air Hostess link in the top navigation bar. I will start with the first article in the list. In this article, you will find two in content ads, one halfway and one on the bottom.
Click on Edit Post to work on this article. To add your previously made custom sidebar, scroll all the way to the bottom of your page. In the sidebar section, you will notice a drop down menu. This is where you select your custom sidebar. Adding the code for the in content ads requires a bit more work. Here, you will use the custom fields. You start by adding a new custom field. Give it a descriptive and unique name. Where I type, here comes the code, is where you will put your DFP code. Let me show you this. As you can see, I made two custom fields one for the halfway middle code and one for the bottom code. When you take a look at my code, you will again see the importance of the right ad unit titles. I can easily read from it that this is the code for the topic Air Hostess. It's intended for part one of the series. It is in content and should be placed at the bottom or middle of the page. And there's its size to be sure. You will find this code in the generated code list in DFP. Just find the code you need and copy it. Place it in the value field. To put the actual custom field in your text, copy the text in the name field. Now scroll to your content block. Find a suiting place for your code. Since I copied the middle code field name, I will find a spot in the middle of the text. The custom field plugin uses its own short codes. Open and close them and put the name of your field in between. On my page, I did the same for the bottom code, which is of course at the bottom. Click update or publish for a new article to save it all. Now fill in the run of site header banner, if your theme has one. The template I use has this option, and as you can see, I added the appropriate code. I have also added the run of sight sidebar code by using the duplicate widget plugin. You set this up in one sidebar by making an add widget and duplicate this widget in your other sidebars. I called mine recommendations and in my custom sidebar for Air Hostess, I made a reference to the add widget. If you filled in the ad spots, it's time to add the head code. This is where the code insert manager comes into play. I already made an insert for my Air Hostess series. In the insert code section, you include all the relevant code, both the run of site code and the targeted topic code. In my code section, you see the titles of the ad units I added before. You will get this code from Google DFP. Please be aware, every time you generate new code, the ad units get a different reference ID. That's why I can't copy this generated code since my head code would be different from my body code. This also means you have to generate your run of site code once and copy it in all the inserts you are using. Now let's select the pages where you want the head code to be inserted. This is where your targeted and run of site ads will be shown. I selected all the relevant Air Hostess articles. Click apply and you're done selecting pages and save changes if your insert is ready. 
After adding all of your code, it's time to see it all in action. You already got a sneak peek before when I showed you the in-content ads, but now we'll look at the whole picture. On this Air Hostess job description page, you will find the run of site header banner, the middle in content ad, and the one at the bottom. The recommendations widget, which is the one that's duplicated, and finally, the large main sidebar banner. That's it. Looks like a lot of work, but it's mostly repetitive and you will soon get the hang of it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment form and I will see if I can help you. This was Jacko Blackenspore for SitePoint.com.